Hey loves, welcome to my channel, Divine True Tarot. I am your reader, Renetta, and we're going to hop into the energies of um, Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. We're going to see what's coming in for you and your person and see what messages spirit has to say, okay? So, please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless, okay? All right, let's go, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the toilet tarot for the highest good of earth signs heavenly father i pray that you'll send clear and precise messages through my archangels my spirit guides and my ancestors of love and light and heavenly father i pray that you'll protect my energies and the energies of earth signs as we open ourselves up to receive these messages in the mighty name of jesus i love you i praise you and i thank you amen amen shalom shalom let's go <laughs> earth signs what's going on Huh. Endings is happening here, baby. Cycles are wrapped up. Lessons have been learned. Walking away. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, y'all not playing. Okay. Happy birthday, Virgo. I mean, um, Capricorn. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Yeah. Detaching from attachments. Every time I see this energy, you're taking that mask off and you still attached to something. That shit is over. Okay. So this could be a person. This could be something about yourself. Earth signs, walking away, being guided by the angel of love. And here go Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is bringing in a new connection, Canary, a Canary, <laughs> Karen connections. Could be with a fellow Earth sign, fellow Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay, this is a brand new soul contract. Mm hmm. This is a brand new soul contract. Okay. For others, this could be your person that you walked away from. Booyah, here they want to come back correct. Being guided by Archangel Michael. I mean, you know, if they worthy, if they worthy, if they did the work, if they worthy, yeah. But you ain't paying this person no attention. You smelling your flowers. They trying to hold on tight to you. Look at you. <laughs> the scales are balanced here. Okay. For some of you guys, this contract, this soul contract that you care so much about, it's over. Okay. Ooh, wee. Child. Let's go. This um, your love is being protected by Archangel Michael because mm -hmm, you're being guided by the angel of love. So, yeah, he's protecting everything that's pertaining to you when it comes to love. Happiness, love and happiness. Let's go. What is the uh, leading energy? OK, for some of you guys, this connection is protected. Sacral chakra. Archangel Ariel is here, okay? So that sacral chakra is activated, okay? For some of you guys, for others, um, this could be a blockage. Um, I'm getting some of you guys don't, you know, want to be intimate with your person anymore. Yeah, somebody is taking action here. Yeah, blossoming abundance, indecision. You got choices to make here, yeah, thinking woman or man. Mm -hmm. Take it as it resonates. Uh -huh. uh, thinking woman and journey. I heard some of you guys is thinking about where you're going to move, where you want to stay, what you want to do next. Okay? Because <laughs> you're still in love. Okay? You know who your masculine is. Somebody is pissed. Or your masculine is pissed because you getting the fuck on. Mm -hmm. This is for some of you guys. Okay? That could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a Libra. Okay, yeah, look, thinking woman and community, so it's a group of bitches. Is this what it is? Or feminine energy? Okay, watching you move on, taking action to move on. Or this, this, okay, thinking woman and community. Okay, so what I'm getting is you can have a group of females or, you know, aunties, cousins, that's actually your, 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 your support system. This could be also two ancestors here. It's three of them. You come from a strong um, maternal bloodline here. Mm -hmm. Y'all are family of thinkers and y'all love hard. Uh -huh, but y'all not stupid. I love to see these two combinations together. Thinking woman and woman holding a heart. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're not stupid. Uh-uh. But you love hard. Yeah. Especially your masculine that's over here pissed because you found the strength to move forward. And to live in your own power. And now they're broken hearted. Because you went down your typical path. Now they holding the heart. Because they want victory with you. 
because it's cornucopia with you, okay? But there's more magic being done, and they're waiting patiently to be back in your good graces because some of them is going through financial constraints, having money issues, okay? This is the reason why Archangel Raphael is here blocking. I heard blocking. Uh-huh, blocking your person to come back towards you because they have money issues and problems. And you sitting over here all rest and rejuvenated because you're protected by Archangel Metatron and your adjacent possibilities. You got doors opening all over around you, all up and down the hallways of heaven, okay? Shit, adjacent possibilities with <laughs> Karen connections and the soul contract. Do you have to pick up the litter? Okay, earth signs, that's what it looks like. Yep, door to value. Healer of the ages, you know your value, you know your worth. You operating in it, baby. Okay, here come thinking, man. Because, yeah, now they appreciate you. Mm. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's get it. All right, Earth Signs, we're supporting this energy of Archangel Ariel. While we're holding the heart at the bottom of the deck, we're going to leave it right there. Let's see, we're supporting Ariel. That's that sacral chakra. That's where your lust and your passions look moving away. You got out of there. And that's final judgment here. You blossoming. As soon as you moved away from your person, booyah. And brought judgment on the connection, booyah. You blew up and you grew up. Mm, earth signs. What's supporting this? What is supporting? And it's like your passion. You got your passion back. Are you going after something that's, that you're passionate about or someone? Okay. How do we go? We a judgment free zone over here. Oh, teach me how to love. Judgment in the Hierophant. Child, you're passionate about your spiritual growth, your spirituality, how you're changing, growing. Okay, renewing yourself, your mind and your heart. You're passionate about it. Yeah. You like the new you? Oh, goodness. What is supporting? That's way too many. Uh uh. What is supporting? Heart chakra. Baby, wide open. I told you, I told you. That woman holding the heart and that woman holding the, uh, uh, or no, that thinking woman and the woman holding the heart, this is why that heart chakra is healed. Look at all that green. Okay, you are abundant in love. You have a lot to offer. I heard annual sex is good. Uh-huh. Waiting results. Okay, so somebody could be rating. Or you could be waiting for things to get balanced between you and the person. Or it took a long time for you to ba balance out your masculine and your feminine energy. And you had to do this alone. Find balance. I can't make it up. Mm -hmm. It took you a while. But shit. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. And now these dreams and wishes are coming true for you. Because you did the work. Giving and receiving. You gave to the most high. Now you're receiving from the most high. Divine feminine. You nurtured yourself. And you were still nurturing to other people. Yeah, dedicated effort. Because some of you guys, you're very, very good mothers. You're dedicated to raising your children properly. Okay? And you had to release the old shell of self. Death energy. Death and transformation. And it was challenging. Somebody was causing challenges and obstacles. 5-5 five, five here. 5 of Pentacles. 5 of Swords. Somebody wanted to block your money. Cause you obstacles and challenges when it comes to your money, your stability. And the Most High God called judgment on this. Well-deserved reward. Earth sign. Damn. Woo. And now it's time to move on. Move on to another loving care connection that's coming in. And it's coming in fast, okay? Because for some of you guys, you're not going to reach out to this person until you find out the truth. Do they really simply love you? And can they move forward with you? Will of fortune. Believe and you will succeed. Okay, these messages are flying out from my earth sign. Just breathe, baby. Love is here. Okay, love is here. Okay, so love of self or love from somebody else. You have a lot of love around you. It's almost making me feel like people are changing their hearts and minds about you. Yeah. Yeah. We have 446 here. You have a new connection coming in. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what can you tell us? Let's get this. Uh, Holy Spirit, what can, you, what can you tell my earth signs? We have awareness. Okay. I heard pay attention to the signs. 
Yeah, and pay attention to their intentions. This could be about your new person or your old person here, okay? Yeah, your intentions, check them. Be aware, yeah, be aware of your intentions as well. Be aware of their intentions as well, especially when it comes to new love, okay? Because this could, star energy and the lover's energy, this is almost feeling like it's too good to be true. But as long as you check their intentions and be aware of their intentions, you'll know what to do is what I'm getting, okay? All right, let's see. Uh, what can you tell us? Let's see. What can you tell us? Yeah. Picked up the deck. Release your ex. You are so done. Earth signs. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Yeah, you released your ex this past relationship. You are so done. Okay. The time has come to clear your energies and heal. Heal from the decisions that was made in love. Now it's time to rest and reconsider. Now it's time to just breathe, okay? Because you changed your focus and you was able to move on, Eight of Cups. And that's when your healing began, okay? You mastered the, 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 the um, toxicities of self, toxicities of somebody who was causing illusions and confusions, keeping you sad and isolated. You had to take a hard look at yourself. Observe hermit energy. And make decisions on how you could take a leap of faith and trust the universe that you can have your dreams and wishes come true. Because you be getting them major, major downloads and now you're speaking it into existence. And we are in the year, in the, the, year of the eight because you have strength and courage and bravery to move forward towards your passions and desires. Okay? Sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra. Come on, baby. That's the will and the passion of life. And you will succeed and you will grow because you chose your battles wisely and you defeated them motherfuckers, okay? They tried to keep you in the dark, but you took hold of a new opportunity that beckoned your call to have a new vitality. Baby, you took the lead to tear something down and rebuild yourself or, or, or. This is what happened to your masculine when this cycle had closed out. Let's roll. Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me? Free yourself. See, man? See, man? Free yourself and very soon. Okay? Free yourself and very soon. Forgiving and learning. You forgive your person and you learned your lessons. Now it's time to move on. You freed yourself from the guilt, the shame, the hurt, and the pain of your ex that you released. Uh-huh. Because of deception at the bottom of the deck. They was the deceiver. They was a liar. And now they want to come in and reconcile with you after being separated from you. Mm, mm, mm. Now they want to engage. You got new love here. Now you're engaging in new love that is passionate. And this could be the one. That's for that's that I'm telling you. It's a I would say it's about 70% of my Taurus, Capricorns, and my Virgos. You got new love in. The other 30%, your person coming back in renewed. Okay? Let's go. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about the collective in their person? Okay, tell me about the collective in their person. Let's see. Which ones? Okay. Okay, we do these. All right, Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about the collective in their person? Okay, that's, I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. Hold on. Hold on. They want to, the angels got something to say first. Improving health. Okay. Look for a sign. Somebody's health is improving. This could be the health of the relationship or the health of your person. Big fat ass, yes. Okay, make it up. Let's go. Holy Spirit, what can you tell us? What message do you have for my earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo? What can you tell me about them in their person? Let's see. Let's go. All right, somebody have a tight grip. Yeah, they, they have a tight grip. Get more information. And we have big fat ass yes in the near future. So get more information about this opportunity that you've been waiting on. Woo. Get more information about this opportunity that you've been waiting on. Okay. Okay. Because it's a big fat ass yes in the near future. Okay. This is feeling like somebody is renewing a connection or you got a new one coming in. That's why they said be aware of the intentions of your person. Also to check your intentions as well. Okay. Because the answers that you need lie within self, okay? On this choice that you have to make and the barriers you have to put up, okay? So for some of you guys, you have new person and your past person coming in at the same time, okay? Yeah. Wow. 
reconsider within the next few months. Something is better. Okay? So, you know, for some of you guys, if you was waiting on your person to come back, you know, give it, give it a few months. It could be something better coming in. Okay? Check the intentions of your person and this new person. Your old person and your new person. Yeah. What else can you tell us? What else can you tell me? What other messages do you have for my earth signs? Let go. It's all happening in perfect timing. Okay? So if you're waiting on your person, let go. Perfect timing. Remain positive. A peaceful resolution. Okay? Compromise. Mm -hmm. So if you're holding on tight to your person, waiting and hoping and wishing that they come back, uh -uh, let them go because that's the energy that's propelling them or rebelling them from, from moving in because, yeah, from taking action, yeah. Because, you know, it's not the right time. They still have to heal. That energy, you know, that push and pull, pull effect, you're trying to pull them in, they're pushing it away. Okay, well, you push it away, they want to pull it in. That's how it works. Okay? That's it. Goes around, comes around. I mean, that's that's kind of like what it is. Um, Not to the T, but it got the same effect of that, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about the collective in their person. Let's see. Is, is it these? No. Let's see. Let's go. Let's just get these. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. We have Courthouse and High Honor when I picked up the deck. Yeah, something didn't go in a person's favor. Okay, because now they're living in poverty. Yeah, some type of judgment. This is spiritual judgment. Okay, but let's see. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me? Yeah, because you was the great fortune, so... I'm, Use the great fortune. Somebody is in despair. Let's go. Holy Spirit. What can you tell me? What can you tell me? Thank you. Yeah. Somebody want to send out a message. A message of concern, but they're not. Or you're not getting this message. Or this message is being blocked. Okay. Yeah. It's not getting to your house. Or they don't know where you live. So this message, you're not getting the message. Somebody is not getting the message not to come by as well. False person concern. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody could be, yeah, this false person is concerned about not getting the message towards you. Okay, a lover. It could be a lover. Yo, this false person could be concerned about a lover trying to get a message to you, but it's being blocked. Your person probably blocking this message because they don't want their lover to reach out to you. Tell you something, give you some type of information. This is for some of you guys, not all. Let's see. Yeah, somebody that they were dating, courting. Uh-huh. Somebody that they could have tried to start a family with. Okay. Also, too, um, for some of you guys, this is what I'm getting as well, is that your person that they were dating and courting, um, they're blocking messages from your person to get back towards you. Okay, yeah, pathway of a female and main male. That shit is over. So whatever somebody thought that they was creating, building with somebody. That they chose over you, especially if you were married or they was planning to marry this person. Hold them in high honor. Nuh -uh. That's just a wrap. Okay, we have pathway, male and female. These two are dating. It's over. Something didn't even get off the ground for some of you guys before it was over. This is what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah, it's over. Um, and if you were married to your person and they was dating somebody and trying to start a family or they did start a family, it's over. Mm -hmm. And that's what caused the end of your connection, your relationship. When I picked the deck up, marriage in reverse. Okay. What else can you tell me? Yeah. So, you know, stupid is what stupid is. That's what I'm getting. That's what I heard. Distant horizons, occupation. So somebody is not putting in the work. Somebody can't find work here. Okay. And it's happening now. Somebody could be trying to come back around towards you now because they're out of work or they, you know, they feel as though they didn't put enough work in the connection with you. That's what I'm getting. This is what caused the ending. Yeah. Somebody concerned about somebody stealing something from them or your person is concerned about somebody stealing you from them. Mm-hmm. And I put them in bad health. 
okay? Because you are the great fortune, okay? You are the official person. And now they got a message of concern that you are the gift. They just found that out is what I'm hearing. Yep, adjudication and gift. Hi, on. I can't make this up. You are the prize. And now they, they see that, they understand that. It's making me feel like for some of you, collective or earth signs, you went through this last year. For others, you're going to go through this this year. Yeah. Yeah. And then for others, it's, it'll be next year. So past, present, future. Yeah. Yeah. Take the message as it resonates. But this is what I'm getting. Yeah. It came up in reverse. This marriage, this commitment. This long-term relationship is over. Things are changing. Somebody could be changing houses, changing jobs as well. Okay, journey change, unexpected income. Yeah, somebody could be getting some uh, a lot of money, privilege, maybe unexpected income, sudden wealth to move, to move forward, move on after they get a divorce or after they separated. Somebody want to steal from this privileged lady because you are the gift. Okay, somebody that they chose, a, a lover that they chose, and now they in despair over that choice. And now they over here thinking about you, this mature man, about how childish and immature they are. Now they in poverty. Okay, somebody could be expecting a, a mature woman to reach out to them if they're stuck with a false person. This wealthy man. Yeah. Somebody, somebody that didn't used to work, now they got to work for it or put in the work, something like that. Yeah, this official person is concerned about their money, their great fortune being in bad health. Somebody have a lot on their mind about their money, okay? What can you tell me about this marriage in reverse? Mm. Poverty, great fortune. Somebody lost out on the great fortune. When they lost out on this marriage with you, Earth Signs. This mature man, this motherfucker know better and didn't do better. Now they over here in despair. Poverty and despair, this mature man, because they lost out on the great fortune that was you. Now they have messages of concern or they have concern about money here. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Somebody's expecting for this mature woman to have sudden wealth. They thinking about it or they see it happening. Okay, somebody's birthday could be April 21st, somebody could be 35 years old, somebody could be 21, 19 years old, or that's the age of your children, somebody could be 26, 33, 37, okay, this mature man is acting immature here, uh-huh, somebody's birthday could be March 21st, March 4th, March 1st, March 2nd, April 4th, or April 1st, April 2nd, April 19th, April 3rd. February 4th, 19th, February 21st, February 1st, February 3rd. Okay, let's get a couple of more. Thank you. Unexpected income. Okay, so somebody could get some money, unexpected money that they put a lot of work in or something like that. Or if you like put it overtime at your job or something like that, you could be getting some money unexpectedly. That's for some of you guys. Yeah, but somebody is concerned. It could be this lover. This lover is concerned or this mature man is concerned about you having a new lover, privileged lady. This privileged lady and this mature woman is the same person. Mm -hmm. That's the same energy is given. Okay, what can you tell me about this unexpected income? It's making me feel like this karmic is going to try to reach out to this divine feminine unexpectedly because things ended between your person and them. Mm -hmm. Message of concern. Yeah. We have official person, child, and give so this message could be that somebody could have a child okay somebody at um somebody also to realize that being around you makes them feel like a kid again that's a that's a message for somebody but this message of concern about great fortune somebody want to come back around and steal from this privileged lady this mature woman okay steal from her the things that she worked hard for to get this great fortune now they want it because it's some type of message of concern. Could be having to deal with money here. I, I mean, I'm getting a lot of money in this uh, energy here. Yeah, thank you for the confirmation. Yeah, this wealthy man is in bad health. Mental health, spiritual health, emotional health. Because they're losing their great fortune. That shit gone. When you left, your great, the great fortune left. 
Thank you for the confirmation. Uh-huh. When you left, when you dipped out of this commitment, this marriage, you divorced them, you moved out, whatever. Oh, yeah, all your fortune and all your abundance went with you. Okay? And now that you don't, that your person don't have your abundance to mooch off of, to feed off of, to siphon off of, boo yeah. That connection with that karmic, that outside lover, that shit died. And Just a reminder to all <laughs> Sorry. Hold on. Okay. All right. Sorry, I forgot to turn my radio down. But yeah, that's what happened. Somebody could be 38 years old, 26 years old. Somebody's birthday could be October 18th, October 22nd, October 26th, October 6th. Okay, somebody's birthday could be April 27th, April 13th, April 10th, April 14th, April 12th. Somebody's birthday could be March 17th, June 17th. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see what else do we have. Uh, let's see what's coming in for the collector. Now that you done already dipped out, closed the cycle out, you're not having it going straight to the bank with it when i picked up the deck i'm telling you this unexpected income right here baby yes yes this is miracles of money is what i'm hearing and this is the reason why your person is coming back around to you damn financial center in the bank i can't make this up some of you guys are going to have to get uh financial advisors okay um business managers financial managers okay um i'm hearing investment managers things like that you have a lot of money coming in and everybody gonna watch damn yep while you sit here you didn't do nothing shit you watching them watching you damn mystic haven wow hidden with because of your hidden wisdom it's almost like it's gonna magically appear all of this wealth and abundance that's the unexpected income it's almost making me feel like this is what your person was doing with this other person. They thought that, yeah, they was going to get some unexpected income. And no, it's, it's over. They can't even move forward. Wow. What can you tell me? What's coming in for the collectors? Thank you. Moving on up to the east side. Girl, we got elevator. Okay, our guy. Hotel elevators here. So some of you guys are gonna be living in hotels, moving from hotel to hotel. Um, not not like moving, but like you're gonna be in and out of hotels because you're traveling. Cause with all this money, you better not be homeless. Okay? I think the fuck not. Yeah, because you put in a lot of work. Some of you guys could work from home and it was a challenge to start the home business, but you got it going on, baby. Yeah, now it's working like clockwork. Yeah. Your business is boot booming here. It could be through social media. You could be doing something that has to do with the arts, creating, creating artwork. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Workspace and home. Yes, a lot of you guys are working from home. That's why you're probably traveling from hotel to hotel. And these are luxury hotels, baby. Now, I didn't say motel. I said hotel. Traveling for work. Mm -hmm. What else can you tell me what's coming in for the collector of my earth signs? Taurus, Capricorn, Vir Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or North Node, or wherever you have those signs placed in your chart. Taking <laughs> taking people to church, honey, baby. Okay? We have a redemptive viewpoint. Okay? A meeting place. Somebody, you could be meeting your, your new love at a bar or a tavern, or you could do business deals at a bar, a really nice bar. I'm getting a pub. Okay, so you could live on the East Coast. Ow, shout out to my East Coasters, baby. Yes, your destiny unfolds. Some of you guys could be working out contracts over dinner and drinks. Huh, after church. <laughs> no, for some of you guys. I mean, hey, to each his own. But I like to see church, church and tavern here. Okay. And the reason why I like that is because this is giving me the energy of somebody who is not drinking anymore with that parking lot. Yeah. Somebody who used to bar hop, bar hop, go out and, you know, overindulge in alcohols and stuff like that. Mm -mm, you parked it, baby. Congratulations. Yeah. Spiritual sanctuary. Okay. This used to be your spiritual sanctuary. Getting with your friends and go out and have drinks. Okay. Meet up in the parking lot and shit, but mm-mm. Y'all meet up at the gym now, okay? Or at school. All right? Let's see. 
What else can you tell me what's coming in? But your life is unfolding here. We have nightclub in the reverse. I can't make this up. You, you stopped partying and bullshitting and got serious about your business and your future. That's what I'm talking about. Okay? We have supermarket and amusement park. You damn right. Supermarket got a variety of things. So you have a variety of talents that you're discovering or that is unfolding for you. Collective. Earth signs. Okay? And it's like people are going to be in amazement. Okay? At the museum, you look at shit. The amusement park is fun. It's thrilling. Okay? Somebody is going to watch you live your best life is what I'm, I'm getting here. Watching you move up in life. Yeah. Watching from the window. I'm telling you. Because they had a framed view of you. And now you're, you're, you're coloring outside the lines here. And they trying to see how the fuck you doing that. Mm, mm, mm. Here we go. Bustling up. Very busy. Especially if you're in the arts. Okay? It's almost making me feel like they watching you turn it on and turn it off. You know, like how you have that charm. You, you you got control of that charm. You know when you could be when to be sassy and you know when to be smart. You know when to be uh free spirited, you know when to hone in those those energies, something like that. Almost like uh I wanna say shape not a shape shifter, but like you know how to it's like you live in your it's it's, too, it's so many phases about you. You know, whatever mood that you're feeling, you're you're in it. You're you live in the moment, okay? And you're not afraid to be yourself. So if you're feeling happy, hey, you happy and snappy. If you feel it being sexy, hey, you sexy and cute. You know, you feel like being a bougie. You know, you little bougie. But that's how you're feeling. You're living in your truth, and you're living that in that moment. A lot of people can't do that because they still home and over or still feeling a certain way about yesterday or last week or last month, still carrying them energies. You know how to drop them energies in that day and wake up to a brand new day, okay? You don't let yesterday conduct your today, uh-huh, mm, mm Okay, so let's get some uh, final messages. Holy Spirit from my earth sign, source Capricorn Virgo, spiritual path. You on your spiritual path, baby? Mm-hmm, Holy Spirit is activated in you. And something is changing about you ever since you started guarding your heart. Okay? Ever since you got out of that commitment. That is what was blocking you. And now you're becoming a better you. Your prayers are being answered because you didn't doubt yourself. And now you have peace of mind here, baby. Come on. Let's go. Holy Spirit. What messages do you have for my earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo? Love. Damn. I told you, you got new love coming in because you came so far and you release the energy of that pain. It's a lot of healing here, my love. Wow. You was divinely guided to do so. They said bring that on out too. And you trust the pro process. This is why you're blessed. Damn. Yeah. That heart chakra is whole. It's renewed. It's restored. Wow. Let's see. Let's get a couple of more. I like this energy, Earth Science, because this is a lot. It's a lot of healing once you freed yourself from your ex and you release them. Okay. Yeah. Trust the process came right on out. Uh. Yeah. And it was bound to happen. I'm going to put that back because I don't want to read from the floor today. But yeah. Let's see. Okay. Look. You are blessed and highly favored is what I heard. Mm -hmm. Again, because you didn't doubt yourself. This is the reason why your prayers are being answered. Okay? Because you learn how to turn those lessons into blessings. By praying and meditating your way through your healing process. This is why you have became that light worker that you are. Highly blessed. And <laughs> now it's time to take the next step. It's going to be like the first one. This is the way you need to go, big fat ass, yes, because the most high God is guiding you. So you need to trust the process because this was bound to happen to you. Okay. 
All right, my love. This is what I have for my Earth signs, my Taurus, my Capricorns, and my Virgos. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. Um, so if any of these messages resonated, please drop a comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.